happening right now. Now, 90 of Houston shelter animals are headed to a new home. Yeah, they're going from the Harris County Animal Shelter to pet rescues all the way in Minnesota. Thanks to the Lance McCullers Junior Foundation and Houston Pet Set. Joining us live from the big transport event is Tina Lundquist Faust, co-president of Houston Pet Set. Good morning to you. Good morning, Melissa and Sally. Oh, well, we're so glad you could join us. I know that this is a huge undertaking on, on your organization's part to address the homeless and stray animal population and you're moving them to a place that doesn't have a big stray. That's correct. We have an oversupply and overabundance of stray animals and street animals in Houston, Harris County. So we're um, taking them to places where they're in demand, where people um, want these animals, and they'll go into either foster homes or adoptive homes right off of the bus. Well, they'll go from uh, a fairly chilly but usually warm Houston to sort of a, a holiday winter wonderland, both they, in a cold part of the country. That's right, yes. Exactly. We have lots of sweaters and, and um, coats on the doggies for their arrival in Minnesota. That's great. So, uh, Tina, for, for folks who are who are watching and who, who want to help out, what can people do to really help out with uh, the, the abundance of strays that we have here in the Houston area? Well, it's very important that people get their dogs spayed or neutered. Even if, if um, your dog is, is um, at, at a home, it still has to be spayed or neutered because dogs running on the streets tend to breed, and this is, what, this is where the problem's coming from. They're breeding faster than we can um, rescue them, so people need to spay and neuter their dogs. That's the priority. If people want to help with the problem, they can also um, agree to foster um, an animal. The sooner we get them off of the street, into a foster home and on a transport, the, then we can take more dogs off of the street and, and um, keep the supply going. That's really important. And of course, um, funding is always important. It's not inexpensive to do uh, a transport, and so funding is always needed. Well, Tina, we know you've spent years on this very important mission to make a difference in Houston. We certainly appreciate that. I know the community does, so thanks for all you do. And it's going to be a, a beautiful Christmas surprise for a lot of people getting those dogs and cats. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Keep